Hi, I'm Kenator, and thanks for joining me for the week 51 progress report. And it's the final one of the year as the devs are off to enjoy a well-earned break with their families. I'd like to take a moment to thank each of you for every video view, comment and like. You have helped me grow this channel somewhere I never thought I'd be in just half a year. I'm looking forward to see where both Starbase and this channel will be by next Christmas. I expect the next update to be out on the 7th of January as the devs are away until the new year. If you are new here, I do these updates every week as well as other Starbase content so please do subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications for the latest Starbase news. Now let's get to it. So the results of the planet naming poll are in and together the most voted name was... Eos, named after the Greek goddess of dawn. And with the dawn of a new year, a new decade and a new game, it definitely fits the bill for Starbase. Now on to the report. The main design features worked on last week were, voxel material types have been configured for material cubes. This will fix misbehavior in some situations like bolting. Bolt profiles have been added to the refined materials and laid out the materials in such a fashion that their profiles will be easily updated if needed later on. In station design, we have collisions caused by the station assets pivot point update have been fixed. And in spaceship design, the overlapping issue in Kodiak ship map fixed by increasing collision error threshold for the asset. The pincer has a few updates. The YOLO that was controlling the generator has been updated to match the new electricity consumption of the cargo beams. They have also added YOLO and a status bar for the cargo lock beams to now show you how many beams are connected to the cargo. The Veles has had its YOLO modified. The railgun now only rotates and shoots when enabled from the gun chair. Turret armor has been added to the Veles and Centurio frigate. Looks like the Empire is adopting kingdom techniques here, once and for all admitting their lack of technical skill in shipbuilding. That's right, I'm calling you out Empire. Now onto the gameplay updates. Building tool autofill feature has been worked on. The current approach is using an enlarging sphere to autofill objects. So we have seen before that the pieces are filled in where aimed at, but what if you have a piece that's damaged, that's under another part of your ship? This update fixes that, ensuring the whole piece is filled in as long as any part of it is aimed at. Player movement and collision issues inside moving ships has been fixed. A bug producing poor up-down directions in the flight control unit has also been fixed. Ore processing fixed to not remove material from processing ore when processed ore is created for the first time. UI updates this week are the company names added to show in the invitation list in the create and join a company page. Friend features have been worked on. A basic list rendering has been added and context menus added for received and sent invites. The spaceship creator has also been updated. The spaceship created repair feature development continues. Own ships can now be flown into the Spaceship Creator terminal areas for editing and fixing. A Starship Creator Repair Assist system has been added. This creates an overlapping hologram of the ship's original blueprint, allowing the user to see which parts are damaged or missing. Onto the station art updates. Exterior decorations have been worked on for small modules. Collisions fixed in the big showroom, market station main hall, small repair grid slots, and shop modules. The VIS Sky Deck decorations have been updated to module map. Weapon artwork includes the assault rifle textures have been updated and the paint jobs updated for better combinations. The projectile and muzzle flash polished for the railgun. First iteration of first person animations made for the sentinel rifle and the first person reload animation has been made for the bolt tool. And with that 2019's progress reports are over but don't be sad. I'll have a new faction interview coming at the weekend to tie you over the holiday season. I hope you all have a great holiday, and if you don't stop by the channel until next year, have a good new year as well. But that's all we've got time for this week. Feel free to join me on my Discord and talk more about Starbase. There'll be a link for that below. Like and share this video with your company and faction, and I'll see you in the next one. Kenator, out.